Hi everyone, it's Michael Krulik coming to you from the Avid Stand at IBC 2019. Now what I'm going to be showing you are some little tweaks, little previews into some new features that are coming in a new version or upcoming version of Media Composer. So Media Composer 2019.9 coming out soon. So little previews, you may know that we have modernized the UI a little bit. We've actually made it a little more intuitive for new people but keeping the editing for seasoned editors. But little things uh, to actually tweak a little bit, we're adding some more custom customizable buttons across the top of your timeline. So you've actually opened it to the timeline, being able to add more tools here, which is nice. You'll also see that being able to go in and uh, display the name of your timeline, which you know sometimes is a little long. You actually have a little preview down here. If I hover over the timeline, you actually get a, a larger display to actually see the full name of the timeline as well. Now let's talk about adding color to the bins and even the clips in your bins. Now one thing that we have added, if you right click to change the color of a clip, not only do we have the RGB values when we hover, let me go ahead and zoom up a little bit here. So if I go into change the color value, you see the RGB when I hover, but we've also added a new color picker. The nice thing here is if I want to change the color, I'm not just limited to these right here, I can go in and choose the whole spectrum of colors here to color a clip in my bin. But we've also changed the color of the tabs. These colors correspond to the background colors of the bins that are selected. So if I go in to change the color of this bin right here, we'll change the background color you'll see that the color in the tab changes here as well. So again, some nice things just uh, to enhance the UI with Media Composer. You'll also see down in the timeline, we have taken the solo and mute buttons and put them side by side. The nice thing about this is it actually opens up for the monitoring buttons to be a little bigger as well. So they used to be on top of one another for solo and mute, now side by side gives me a nicer selection for my tracks with choosing to solo and mute the clips. You'll also see in my bins, we'll go back up here, if I go into my different views, uh, let's say I want to go into my text view, this little widget here is my left bin lock, meaning if I go to do any scrolling, let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit, if I'm scrolling through my bins, I may want to lock the columns. So by simply moving this little widget right here to this portion of the bin, you'll see that it actually locks the left side of the column selection, just making me, uh, letting me uh, scroll through my bins a little easier, locking this information. Now other things to take a look at are uh, my project. You'll see here I now have a project sidebar. When we introduced the new UI, uh, we told people that we have the sidebar, which is actually in the bin container. But people actually liked having a separate project window. So now you'll see if I go under Tools and bring up the project, it actually brings up this sidebar, which is simply named Project. Now this can be floating or you can dock it, which now sets up to a more uh, similar UI to what was in previous versions. We also have in the frame mode larger thumbnails. So you can see that your thumbnails actually can be displayed a little larger than usual, similar to the source browser as you're working. And we also have a new tool with going into name clips. Now we know that people like to go in, if you want to go in and rename clips, you may want to do it to more than just one, maybe for uh, putting counters on VFX that may be set up. So we can go in and select a range of clips. If I right click, you'll see under the reveal, or excuse, under the modify option, it will reveal bulk edit. And what that means is I can now go in and choose to modify a specific column of data. Let's say I want to do the name of the clip the change, uh, just the selection. It could be all the master clips or all the sub clips. I just want to do the selection that I have. And I want to specify the text. I actually want to add new with a little underscore to the clip. You'll see on the bottom here, it gives me the result. So it's actually going to tell me what the end result is going to be for the change. 
and I also want to add it to specific column data. So on the name, it's going to add new underscore to the names of the selected clips. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And watch over here as we now have new cooking and then my counter added to each of those. So again, a nice way to go in and do a bulk change to any column data or cell data within the bin. So again, some nice simple changes. You'll also, you know, may hear some things that we are working on, uh, like a nice little interop between Adobe and Media Composer. Yes, you heard it here. On the Avid stand, we are working with a better interop with taking a, an AAF from Adobe, being able to open it up inside of Media Composer, linking to the media, and also getting a full list of all the effects that come in from that Adobe sequence. So again, a quick little overview of some new stuff that we are showing here at IBC. Thank you so much for joining me.